How's it all going guys? This is Oblivion and this is my first actual actual raid cam. Like can you believe I'm actually doing a bloody raid cam? I'm not being raided for once. Anyways, we're looking at the team here, consistent of a row, and eight people within this raid is quite a big raid. A couple of them are the admins of some of the servers. Um, but these guys are pretty solid in what they're trying to do. Basically, they're gonna go and raid RDR. We have a huge compound not too far from their base. And they're looking to see if they can get everything they can. Obviously, that's what you're going to get from a raid. What else would you expect? <laughs> so, first of all, we're going to take a look at how their base is looking. They've all grouped up, trying to surround the actual area itself. Trying to get a good idea of what's going on. The base is fucking huge. Like, this is a vanilla server. I'm not shitting you. This base is fucking huge. You know, when do these guys are taking so much time to kind of look at where to attack it? Anyways, these guys position themselves on the hill and the first rocket stuff has been shot. This raid lasted two fucking hours, by the way. Two, two hours. Two hours I was watching this raid for <laughs> because of how many bastard walls they've got. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna see how this pans out because I know, I obviously know how it pans out. I mean, this isn't a live, this isn't me live talking. Shut up. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna break down to it. So basically these guys have been trying to raid these guys for a little while now, they've been planning it for a while, they've been letting me know of exactly what's going down and how they're going to go about it. So basic, basic starts, fire as many rockets as you can, try and get absolute hell into their base. From the start of this, we didn't actually realise these guys weren't online, so yeah, you got a bit of, a, bit of an advantage, but that didn't stop them. I mean, I messaged them saying, you know what, they've got these guys online, they're like, fuck it, give them hell. Um, they did wait around a little while until they did come on later on. <laughs> I think <laughs> they had no idea what was going on. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to kind of just obviously just brief you on a couple of the moments I highlighted throughout this whole raid. It was a big raid. I mean, there was probably about 40 odd rockets used in total. Um, I was quite unsure as to how they were going to go about getting into it, but yeah, same again. You're obviously going to see. You're obviously going to see. I mean, I didn't record, fuck all. <laughs> I just recorded a shit ton of rockets going in. <laughs> I'm just gonna let these rockets do their thing because you don't need to hear me for this part. I mean, Jesus, all you're doing is watching a bloody rocket go into the building. But actually, at this point, actually, they are exposing more of the internal structures. It's a big geometric design. It's got lots of defenses, lots of different structures, which these guys are just fucking up. I mean, if this was my base, I'd be shitting fucking bricks right now because, I mean, imagine. You've just built this massive compound. This guy's just coming over. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. Huge rockets. On my vanilla maps, on my vanilla houses, I mean, you've seen them. They're like a three by two. You know, three by two. And I think, you know what? That took me four hours of grinding. Fuck it. I'm off. Can't do this anymore. Um, but yeah, it actually went all the way through the night. There was all through the night. They, the guys still weren't online. So these, they kind of held back a little bit. I mean, we had a couple of wankers turn up and they, you know, had to see them off because they're trying to fuck you up but yeah we were there throughout the whole night I was hanging around a couple of couple of shots went in not too much but here's actually one of the first times I actually see one of the guys I mean he's literally just got out of bed bollock naked and C4 has gone down on the outside of their base I mean fucked the guys fucked he's just turned he's just he's just woken up <laughs> he's just woken up and there's eight guys coming into his base <laughs> anyways yeah the rockets continue the C4 continues and they're quite deep inside the base right now. They've they've worked down a couple of the external walls. You don't really need to see that's just an external wall being taken out. They've worked them down and they're actually attacking the solid foundation now of the structure. The guy at the top, yeah, he's trying out of a bolt. He's got a couple of ideas going on, but yeah, he's a bit bollocks at this moment in time. So the readers have found out that it's actually a lot better to fire down these actual buildings with gunfire instead of using some of the rockets because they're going to save them for the internal structures. At one point they were looking to try and get up to the top because they were able to expose a tool cabinet later on. But really, overall they're just looking to do some fucking complete damage. Like, just tear the place down really. This guy's a champion right now, he's actually come down to see what's going on. Didn't realise his door's been punished so he just got absolutely flattened. But kind of overall, the way this raid went, I'm not going to say the ending because why would, why would you want to hear that so early on? These guys are basically just attacking the foundations. They're tearing the whole bastard thing down. <laughs> yeah, that's morning. <laughs> what the fuck 
Did I include that? <laughs> oh, yeah. RDR have now got a few geezers online now, and they've actually spawned in the place behind them. It's actually quite a good idea, so they can attack the opening directly from behind. You've got this guy, Mo Chilla. I think he's, like, the real MVP of this whole thing. Um, but I don't understand at this point why why those guys. Yeah, he fucked up. This is very fucked up. He didn't realise there were any stairs there, so this guy's come in, absolutely wiped his mate out. And there's there's a sudden bit of sexual tension between these two guys in a minute. Because the bloke upstairs doesn't know where he is. You don't know where he is. And then they meet and they kind of just don't do a lot. They kind of have a little stare. Bit, bit, yeah. Not too good, but this guy gets absolutely creamed. I think he's just taking him straight through the visor. Or his mates come in, boosting him up, and shit's going down. Never naked, doesn't know what he's doing. He comes out, figs over his fucking gravy. And this is absolute fucking Rambo right here. This guy comes out fucking swinging with a pickaxe. Someone said, oh, we're being raided. He's like, oh, fuck it, I'll go with a pickaxe. Absolutely nuked. He has downed one guy, which I don't even know why he didn't finish him off. But, pff, there you go. So this is kind of the top area where they've all been shooting at. They, I was probably panning that for about six hours and I only used five seconds of footage, so that was grand. Um, these guys, yeah, like, this guy's a champ. He thinks, yo, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Go down, bollock naked. Absolutely seen off. <laughs> Hiding in the corner. Absolute rape train. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, this man at the top, as usual, firing down. They haven't got Bye, much vision of the, of the lower area of their house. He actually died. He took a hell of a headshot just then. He actually fell in and died. Um, he was stuck on the wall. I have no idea why that's happening. Gary saw it out. <laughs> Incendiary rockets, need I say more. Burn the fuckers to death. Um, internal structures, still absolutely fucked. You've got Walker giving it absolute bees. Just trying to tear everything apart. So many rockets. So many rockets. This guy fucked up. Wizard got stuck. <laughs> He got stuck down there, which fucked his team up for a little bit. That was awesome. That was some sick play. This guy actually walked in, backdoored him, put on their gear, put on the gear he found a dead guy, walked in there, absolute spy man, and just took him out. This is Walker fucking the team up. Not Walker, Wizard. What am I on about? Another RDR member actually trying to backdoor them as well. Got seen off. But yeah, so this is how it panned out. Basically, rockets just being fired into the floor. This guy's despawning all his shit because he knows he fucked up. And you have fucked up, mate. Don't try to deny it. Coming into the second, the end of the second day, this guy's fucked. Once again. <laughs> this guy's a legend. He had a bean can just then. This bass is going to go down with a bean can and try and sort someone out. I mean, Mo Chilla, this is why he's the MVP. He's come down, he's got a bandage, he's fallen about six stories trying to get out of his own house. And all he's got is equipped with a bloody bean can. So anyways, Mo Chilla's at the back. These two guys are heavily geared with pumps. They've done all right. The bean can's come out. Where is it? There it is. There's the bean can. So that worked really bloody well. And yeah, there was just like pure, pure death for a while just in that little complex. But this is actually where RDR turned it. I thought these guys were going to get absolutely ruined. That's why the despawning came in. But this little section here where they're actually stuck. They can, <laughs> they can look behind where everyone's turning up and just take them out. So many guys died there. Salty got killed. He was getting killed because some bugger above him was shooting him with a bloody pipe. <laughs> just amazing. Like, you're just watching this guy. These guys who are absolutely ruining this house. Just get absolutely wrecked because of one one area they're aiming for. If they hadn't aimed for this area, they would have been pretty sound. If they'd have gone from around the side, they wouldn't have been killed and would have been wiped out. But yeah, the raid was basically um, unsuccessful. They defended really well. I mean, for two hours, they defended bloody well. And yeah, they just obviously rebuild again. But, oh, it was, it was all over the shop. It was pretty mental. They had a good idea going, but because of the geometric design, it just totally buggered up what they were going for. And, yeah, fucked him, really. Anyways, that was pretty much my first raid cam. I have no idea what the hell I just said in those last nine minutes, but I imagine it was pretty good. Give us a thumbs up. I think that was pretty sick. Here we go.